Okay, so we're on to question four. An Egyptian archaeologist has found a mummy and we're sent 10 grams of the sample. Now, by now, we should be getting the hang of these, so we can just go through this. So we're sent 10 grams of this particular mummy, and normally it should have a radioactivity of 8 counts per minute. Okay. This sample, though, um, is so old that some of the radioactive carbon isn't there anymore, and so the activity is 6 counts per minute. So we need to find out how old this mummy is. So we're just going to do this, we're going to find the percentage of radioactive carbon that's still there, and that's just going to be found by taking a very, very simple 8 counts per minute in anything that's alive, that's 10 grams worth of, and from our mummy we're given 10 grams which has an activity of 6 counts per minute. Okay, now we're going to work that out and uh, have it as a percentage. Okay, and then we're just going to take that up there and read down from here until we get to the right place. Okay, so calculator time. Um, once again, okay, uh, 6 divided by 8 times uh, 100 gives us our percentage of radioactive carbon. Well, that's 75%. Okay, so 75%. Um, starting here, when it was last alive, um, its radioactive carbon-14 um, decays, stops being around, and so we can read off from here roughly how much that is. Now, if we look at this, that's nothing, that's 4,000 years, we're about halfway there. So our sample, okay, how old is our mummy? Well, it looks like it's going to be something like 2,000 years old. And that's as simple as it gets.